there's this concept of AI fatigue, right? Yeah. There's a certain subset of people probably in the Windows community, just like the larger society that is tired of AI, maybe doesn't want AI in their Microsoft Word or their Windows. How do you balance the powerful automation uh, and the transparency that, um, you know, what you're explaining where you're using AI and, you know, making maybe even making an option to turn it off when people don't sure. want it. You nailed it, actually. I think for us, uh, the reality is we have a breadth of customers, which by definition means different customers are in different places in terms of how they think about AI and where they are in the adoption of the, of the product and the technology in itself. I think it's our responsibility in Windows for making that be accessible to customers at the rate at which they find it valuable and useful for themselves. And so we do have a set of principles that we use in terms of how we product make and how we actually roll out these capabilities. The first was exactly what you just mentioned, which is we think deeply about making uh, these core features opt-in for customers. For sure, make sure we start with a set of opt-in capabilities so it is a thing that customers can use, try, learn, experiment, both give us feedback as well as learn where you know it adds value in their workflow. 